nakikita kayo sa dealer. Magandang hapon. Um, may mga nag-request kasi for a live on the uh, House Bill 7303. Kasi pumasa na po. Ito yung consolidated bill dun sa Kongreso tungkol sa uh, absolute divorce. Dito sa bill na to, medyo... No. Naging controversial yung bill na to nung umpisa kasi uh, naging, ano siya, um, it was supposed to be filed as a marriage dissolution bill. Uh, the reason ginagamit yung term na marriage dissolution is para maiwasan yung paggamit ng term na divorce. Kasi yung term na divorce, flashpoint siya for uh, religious groups, etc. So, especially the Catholic Church who doesn't believe in divorce. So, uh, dito, Meron mga sinasabi na grounds for divorce. Ang grounds dito ay ah uh, lang. Kanina ko pa binabasa to eh. Ah uh, yan. The grounds for a uh, judicial de decree, decree of absolute divorce are the first one is kapag legally separated na sila. Uh, for more than two years. So, pwede ka mag-apply for legal separation. Pag naka two years na, na legally separated kayo, pwede nyo nang i-apply yan for a decree of divorce. For judicial decree. Uh, absolute divorce based on judicial decree of uh, separation. Second, uh, of course, ang annulment. Pagka-annulled na yung marriage mo, you don't need to get a divorce kasi walang visa na yung yung annulment. Pero, inamendahan pa rin nila yung mga grounds for uh, annulment. Tapos, um, ang third ground ay kung separated in fact na daw but for five years. Uh, so, hindi na sila magkasama sa bahay, hindi na sila, hindi na sila nagsasama at all. Five years na separated, uh, pwede nang apply yan, yan ng decree of divorce. Tapos, yung psychological incapacity na ground siya for uh, annulment under Article 36 ng Family Code ay maaari rin gamitin siya as a ground for divorce. Five, uh, sec, uh, fifth, ang isa pang ground ay if the spouses undergo one of the spouses undergo uh, gender reassignment surgery or well transitions from one sex to another yung spouse na hindi nagpa ano the other spouse, yung hindi nagpa-transgender, entitled siya to a decree of divorce. Bakit inaaling wiki niyo ako, Chair? Anyway. Uh, and finally, irreconcilable marital differences and conflicts which have resulted in the total breakdown of marriage beyond repair despite earnest and repeated efforts at reconciliation. So, ito na yung ano, so wala tayong tinatawag na no-fault divorce na nag-agree lang sila na magdi-divorce sila. But this is as close as you can get. Uh, you undergo, uh, you and yung marital differences, sa US kasi may ganun eh, irreconcilable differences, all you have to do is prove na nag-attempt kayo dito sa ating uh, divorce bill, all you have to do is prove that you had attempted to reconcile at saka may earnest efforts na ano na magreconcile. So nakalagay din dito yung mga procedures for absolute divorce pero usually kailangan mo na ng ng lawyer. In in short, the divorce decree is is obtained through a court hearing. So magfa-file kayo ng petition for divorce in, in the courts. So yun po, uh, na meron pa pala yung pag yung petitioners or OFWs, bibigyan daw sila ng priority uh, dun sa court. Ibig sabihin dito, nakinig din ang kongreso dun sa hinaing ng ating mga OFWs kasi sila po yung primarily nagkakaproblema tungkol dito. Maraming nagsasabi na paano po kami kukuha ng ganun kasi dahil sa tagal nilang nagtatrabaho, nagkaka-breakdown yung marriage, lalo na pag matagal silang hiwalay. So, in this case, bukod sa merong grounds dun sa matagal ng separated, uh, binibigyan ng priority ang mga OFWs para hindi magtagal sa hukuman. Kasi, di ba, they don't have that much time. Minsan, uuwi lang para mag-file ng petition. Bibigyan ng priority yung mga kaso nila para hindi magtagal dun sa hukuman at uh, either mag-grant or ma-deny na yung uh, decree of divorce. So, yun lang po yung mga ano, uh, uh, mga important things to consider. Pero ang isa pa, katulad dito ng legal separation, kapag nag-file kasi kayo ng legal separation, meron tinatawag na six-month cooling off period. After i-file yung, yung petition for legal separation, and in this case, yung petition for divorce, kung maipasa itong batas na ito, uh, bibigyan kayo ng six months magpalamig. Kasi 
uh, binibigay ito para dun sa mga spouses na nag-aaway. Um, para rin pag umabot na sila sa court, medyo huminahon na silang lahat. Also, it gives the spouses an opportunity to think. Baka pwede pa silang magbago ng isip. Baka yung pinag meron lang silang pinag at uh, hindi lang nila may reconcile So, yung six-month cooling off period na yun is also to make sure na hindi lang ano, minor reasons ang pagkuha ng divorce. And in the case of legal separation, hindi rin basta sila maghihiwalay. So, ano yung effects ng absolute divorce? Ibig sabihin, pwede nang mag-asawa uli, uh, pero kailangan magbigay ng, na, dun sa decree of divorce, kailangan mag-decide ang court dun sa property settlements, at saka dun sa support ng mga bata, at saka custody, kung mga bata pa, kung, kung minors pa yung mga bata. Uh, yung court po ang magde-decide kung paano yung hatian ng property between the spouses. So, merong mga prescriptions dito dun sa house bill tungkol dun sa pagkahatik ng, ng mag-asawa. Uh, ang hindi ko pa nakikita kasi dun sa ano, sa ating batas, dun sa mga ano, sa mga pa, sa ma, nag, mga nagsasama, pero hindi sila kinakasal, merong ano, binibigyan din ng credit yung spouse or yung partner na hindi nagtatrabaho but stays home to take care of the kids. So, dun sa partihan, equal pa rin yung, yung spouse kahit hindi siya nag, ano, uh, nag-contribute to the marital property. Kasi nga, nasa bahay siya, nag-aalaga ng mga bata. And this applies to any gender. Kung lalaki yung nag-aalaga ng mga bata, nag-stay. Uh, so, yun. Um, at nag, nag-alaga ng mga bata to care of the household, uh, meron din silang parte dun sa conjugal partnership, dun sa property nila. Um, sabi ni Annie, so cold na akin, sign na bill na yan, adult na lahat ng kids ko. <laughs> okay, oo. Um, meron ding, ano tinatawag na revival of former property regime, pero ito, Meron kasing instances na pwedeng mag-reconcile. If the petitioners have agreed to reconcile, may joint manifestation under oath lang sila uh, and filed in the same case for ab- kung saan nag-divorce. So, ibig sabihin, may opportunity na magkabalikan yung spouses. Hindi nila kailangan mag-asawa ulit. mag ano lang, uh, recognition of reconciliation. So, kunwari, nag-divorce yung mag-asawa, tapos nagkabati din sila, kahit meron na silang divorce decree, mag ano lang sila, mag-file lang sila ng recognition of reconciliation para hindi na ulit yung um, marriage, pero this time, ma- may order rin tungkol dun sa uh, property nila. So, pwedeng mag, ano, mag-revert dun sa dating property, d- dating hatian nila, or kung meron silang bagong property regime. Uh, sabi ni Orange, paano naman kung walang anak at walang tabaho yung wife? Same din po ba? It depends. Kung, kung by staying home, kahit paano nag-contribute siya dun sa conjugal partnership, then ano. O, oh, i-consider yan. Kasi, tsaka it will depend din kung ano yung tinatawag natin na property relations. Pag kinakasal kasi, uh, pwede kang mag-prenup, di ba? So, yung prenuptial agreement pwedeng mag-decide yun kung ano yung patihan ng mag-asawa kahit at the start pa lang of the marriage. Pag hindi, it will depend on kailan ka kinasal. So, kung kunwari, conjugal partnership of gains, uh, his is his, hers is hers, tapos yung gain lang during the marriage, yun yung paghahatian. Pero after kasi ng family code, naging absolute conjugal, absolute uh, community of property na. Meaning, lahat ng property pag nag-asawa yung dalawa ay pull together and are considered part of the marriage uh, the, the conjugal partnership conjugal property uh, ang hindi lang nasasama doon yung mga na inherit ng isang spouse uh, usually yon para dun lang yun sa spouse sabi ni Annie paano if di siya nag-alaga in fact may mga anak siya sa iba di rin ba support alam niya yung mga ganyan like, these are very specific the court will decide that it will be up to them to up to you to prove na hindi entitled yung isang spouse na yon to any property remember hindi pa to batas ha this is just a house bill uh, sabi ni Nonoy Murillo hanggang hiya naman tayo sa LP bakit daw tinutulungan si Napoles ng Duterte administration kayo naman divorce pinag-uusapan natin dito pero sige ah uh, Basahin ko lang yung mga comments na gano'n. Hindi ko po pag-uusapan ng NFA ngayon. Developing story po ito. Uh, marami pa tayong nalalagap na balita from from the inside. Uh, 
Ayan, so also expect a lot of haters on the wall kasi syempre may mga tao din yung mga uh, taong pinag uh, sinusulat natin yung yung kwento tungkol dun sa NFA so hindi muna natin pag-uusapan yun dito we'll just talk about divorce if you want to we can talk about uh, Napoles also to some extent um, sabi ni H uh, can you give us an idea how long it will take to pass this bill, yung proseso after final approval? Okay, in the house, usually there's three readings. Uh, tapos na dito sa third reading, so sa plenary na siya pupunta at pagbubotohan siya. Pag pinagbotohan ng, ah, in, no, tapos na pala yung third reading, which means nagboto na yung house. Uh, majority 57 lang daw po yung dissent at saka isa lang ang nag-abstain, so majority voted in favor of the divorce bill. So now it goes to the Senate. Either mag-issue ng Senate ng counterpart bill nila, tapos mag, uh, ano, mag-bicameral, dun sa bicameral, pag-uusapan paano i-reconcile yung dalawang bills. If there's a counterpart bill in the Senate, uh, how long we don't know. It really depends on on the, the in this case the Senate. It's okay, dun sa nagsusodi. Um, so it will depend on the Senate kung ganong katagal yung kanilang counterpart. Eto ngayon yung problema. Even if may overwhelming support ang divorce bill, lalo na ngatul na yung divorce bill na ipinasa ng House, uh, what the Senate can do is just sit and not act on their counterpart bill. Pagka ginawa nila yun, it's as though uh, they're denying us divorce. So, magbibilang tayo ngayon, ilan ba ang senators na in favor of divorce at uh, sino magpa-file ng counterpart bill dun sa Senado. Nag-declare na kasi ibang mga senator natin, like Senator Soto, that they will try to stop the divorce bill. Uh, alam naman natin kung ano yung opinions natin dun. Dun sa mga supportive dito sa divorce bill, I think that they're Kumbaga, what is being given to people here is a choice. Kung hindi sila, ano, kung hindi sila sang-ayon, then wag naman nila i-deny dun sa mga taong na iba yung paniniwala at naaari mag, uh, maaari naman ayon sa kanilang paniniwala magpa-divorce. Okay, um, hindi pa ako nagla-lunch. So, pag tumating yung delivery dun sa lunch, magbababay na ako. So, I need two more, uh, I'll just take two more questions kasi actually hindi pa ako makain all day. Okay, uh, meron kasing puma pumasok na call, so I need to take the call kasi it's really, really important. So, I'll just take two questions. Uh, ako po, divorce na ako with my foreign husband, sabi ni Virginia. Ang magiging divorce proceedings, katulad din na napapanood sa US TV shows, kung saan maski hindi sila humarap sa DJ's design. Hindi po, wala po tayong no fault at saka non-appearance. Ewan ko, um, the court still has to take rules dun sa procedure for, ano, for for divorce after maipasa yung batas. So, titignan natin kung maaari yung mga non-appearance. Okay. Next. Uh, how much po yung cost? Wala pong sinasabi dun sa batas. Okay, last one more question. Uh, how about kung separated na for almost 9 years? Nakalagay dun sa house bill kung separated for 5 years, maaari nang mag-file ng petition for absolute divorce. Okay, sorry po, I really have to run kasi hindi pa ako kumakayan. But I will do live again later on. Uh, maraming maraming salamat yung mga hindi po po nagsashare, pakishare naman po para hindi tayo po ulit-ulit. Uh, yung, if you want to have a look at the house bill, it is house bill 7303. It is searchable by Google, may PDF copy that is online. Maraming maraming salamat po. Pasensya na na, napakaikli yung live natin yan. Uh, I just need to take a call that's coming in. Thank you very much for, for joining us.